Welcome to our journey. We've been um making some cannolis, but first we need butter. So we're taking the cream out of the milk so we can make some butter. We're gonna need some butter for our filling and our cannelli dough. The butter needs to be really cold, so it's the first thing we have to make in order to let it chill in the refrigerator for a while. So after the butter comes together, we're gonna separate it based on the amount that we need. So all we gotta do is just take it out of the refrigerator and dump. Okay. And then you're gonna need one tablespoon of sugar. This one? Yes. Oh yeah, can you just dump it in here? There now the flour? Now the flour. Wow, this is not even fit. Yeah, that's why I say we have to do one at a time because ours is too small. Ours is, theirs is way better. Good thing for chefs. Mm -hmm. We got to pack this with measuring cups and spoons and it was a lot of fun. And because we have such a small food processor, we actually had to split making the dough into two batches. So we got to practice twice on hey. making the dough because uh, it all didn't fit in the food processor all at once. And we got to learn too because we ended up, the second batch, we ended up missing items and then the dough didn't look the same. And then we had to go back and retrace our steps to figure out what we did, what we missed, and what we needed to add. So that was pretty cool too, because we got to review what we were doing and see what we were missing. I remember that. Yes. I practiced splitting the yolks, but not the, and the egg whites, and I got good at it. This is a really good practice for kids because yeah, first yeah. of all is learning to set, to crack an egg Ooh, without yeah. getting the pieces in there. And then separating the yolk from the egg, it's another point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now to make the dough. Okay. You first stretch it out with your nose and your hands for a couple of minutes, and then you use the oven. And this is the cannoli. And that's the cannoli in this finish. So for the filling, we ran out of butter that we made at home, so we ended up using uh, butter from the store. And then we, what we did is once we had all the cannoli shells done, we started making our buttercream filling. We did not use the recommended ricotta or the original um, filling that's called in the recipe. We actually used our macarons filling from when we learned to make macarons in France, uh, when we were learning about France. And we made different colors to make the Italian flag. We made vanilla filling with chocolate chips on it. And then uh, last, we made a pistachio filling um, that was fantastic. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs>